Genesis chapter 3 Now the serpent was more subtle than the beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye, hath God, hath God said, Ye not shall eat every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and it was pleasant for the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof, and did eat, and she gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were both naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves apron. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Thou hast eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to me with me, she gave me the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art coarse above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thy go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In the sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of this of thy wife, and hast eaten of the three of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Course is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also shall thistle shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweet of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art. And unto the dust shalt Thou return, and Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And to Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skin and cloth them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and it live for ever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to tell the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out of the man and he placed of the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and flaming sword which turned every way to give the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4 And Adam knew Eve his wife and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was keeper 
of sheep, but Cain was the tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the port of ground and offering unto the Lord. And Abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire. And thou shalt rule over him. Genesis and Cain talked two. with Abiel, his brother. Thus the heavens and it came to pass and when the they were, were finished and in all the fields that Cain rose up and against the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. Abiel, his brother, and, and slew and him. Day from and all the Lord his said unto which Cain, he had made. Where is Abiel, thy brother? And God blessed and he said, the seventh day I knew and sanctified it. Because I know not that am I my brother's from keeper? all his work which God and made. And he said, and what the hast thou done? The, the voice of my brother's of blood and cried the earth unto me from the ground. In the day that the Lord and God now made art the earth course and from the earth, which hath opened and her every mouth plant to receive thy brother's blood it from was thy hand. In the earth. When thou dealest the ground, it shall not hence forth yield it grow, unto thee. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon shalt thou be in the earth. And there was not a man till the ground, my punishment is greater than I can from the earth. And the wood. Behold, thou hast and driven me out this day watered from the, the face of the earth, and from thy face the shall I be mad. And I shall be fugitive, the ground, and a vagabond and in the earth, into his and I shall come to pass the breath the earth, of life. And man became that a living soul. Everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord, and the Lord said God unto him, planted a garden. Therefore, whosoever slays Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And there he put the man and the whom Lord he had formed upon Cain. And out of the ground, any finding him me, should kill him. And the Lord Cain God went to grow out from every the presence of the Lord and, to the side. and dwelt in the land and of God for the food and, and good for food. And good for and Cain knew the tree of life also and she in the conceived midst of the garden, enough. and the tree of and knowledge of city, good and, and evil. called the name of the city. And a river went out of Eden of his son to Enoch, watered the garden from Enoch was born there. It was part of the garden into her head. Four Hudaels begat Methusael, and, the first and Methusael begat Lamech. And Lamech took unto son, him and two wives, and named the whole land one was of Havila, and the name of the other there is Zillah. And the, and the Adal gold of the land is good. He was the father that such dwell in tents, and, the and of such top. have cattle. And the name of the second his brother river name was Hobal, is Gihon. And was a father and of all such handle harp and the organ. Whole land of and Zila, she and was married to Balkai. And it is and which go of toward the east of Azalea. And the fourth of every is east of Azalea. And the fourth river of Iron. And sister of the Balkai was Nama. And Lamech and the Lord said God unto his the wives, man, and Adam put him in the garden of Eden, Hear my to dress it, ye wives of Lamech. And the Lord commanded unto my speech, the man, saying, For I have slain of every a man tree of the garden, thou mayest and young man to my hurt. But of Cain the shall of be avenged of seven of evil, evil, thou, thou shalt not eat of it, and seven for it in the day thou eatest thereof, and Adam thou shalt knew his wife die. again, and she and bare the Lord a son, called his name good, Seth, that the man should God be alone, said, I will make him and help appointed me for me another seed and out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field. And, and then, all of the and earth, to set the him also, there was born a son, see, and he called his name call Enos, and, and began to Adam call upon called the every name living of the creature, Lord. that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the earth, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found an help meet for him, and God, Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought in her unto the arm. And Adam said, This is now the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed.